Libra. Welcome to your weekly forecast. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Welcome, 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 welcome. All right, let's get right into it. I'm going to be starting off with the Urban Crow Oracle to get your energy of the week. So let's see what that is. What is the energy of the week for Libra? I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. The energy of the week is teamwork, connections, bonds, unity. Um, for some of you guys, something could be a risk. You working with somebody, you actually trusting somebody. But I feel like something is definitely going to work out for you. Work out for your good. So teamwork makes the dream work. That is the energy of the work of the week, working together as a team, working together as a union. And you do have romance and then also two, two, two coming out. So I do feel like there is a romantic, there's a romantic bond that's that's reaching a different height in a relationship. Um I do also feel like there is going to be somebody is going to be kicked out of some type of circle or some type of team or some type of group. But this is at the end of the month. So um, this could be happening at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. But that's <laughs> neither here nor there. But right now, let's focus on this bond. Um, there's a romantic bond that is really, really good for your soul. You know how they say like soul food is good for the soul. Or there's some type of relationship or bond that's really, really good for you. You do have two, two, two dynamic duos coming together things coming together it's people crossing your paths for certain reasons there is like soulmates things like this also the friendship aspect for some of you guys the friendship and the business aspect let's talk about it so the romantic aspect is definitely highlighted but the friendship aspect is definitely going to be boosted and also the business the business aspect the, the fact that you can work together and you can actually manifest something very very valuable a valuable opportunity for the both of you guys so I do feel like if you do have that dream or that desire to have a partner where you can be like this that power couple where you can have your own business together or you can you you can work on something or you have a person who's like a mentor for some of you guys your relationship is going into that direction also um this is a great time for like relationships where if you want to meet their friends or they want to meet your friends or family things like that this is a great time for coming together so definitely keep that in mind all right let's go ahead and go into the tarot i'm going to be pulling the card from monday to sunday All right, what is the weekly forecast for Libra? What is the weekly forecast for Libra? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Weekly forecast. Oh, we got the Ten of Wands coming out in reverse. That means somebody dropped some type of load. All right. And then look at that. We got the Three of Pentacles, the teamwork card. We also have the King of Wands. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles. And last but not least, we have the Moon. We have the Moon. The only major arcana card that's out here today in your weekly spread is the moon here so don't jump to conclusions um this is a week of you not having all of the information um so remember that there is something that you're going to find out next week so definitely remember that you also will have time to figure something out you will have time to think about something also if somebody is giving you the illusion where you don't have time to think you don't have time to get your thoughts straight where you have to do something right then and there be very, very skeptical about that. So you do have the moon card coming out. And this is like there's hidden secrets, hidden information. But I feel like a lot of this is hidden information. Okay. So we're going to see what that is. I'm going into the Kipper. All right. To further clarify. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands in reverse for Libra on Monday dropping that low something gets hella easier for you like real real quick 
real quick, something gets real, real easy for you. All right, let's see what that is. Marriage. Okay. There's a bond here. Look at you got the threes here. All right, threes, threes, teamwork, working together. Um, something is very, very easy. Somebody dropped some type of load. Somebody could definitely be proposing. Something could be very, very quick. Like somebody really wants to marry you. Like, listen, <laughs> somebody is going to have, what do you call that, eloping? I don't know if that's what you want to do. If that's what you want to do, somebody is going to definitely elope or definitely get the paperwork and everything done. And, you know, we can have the party later. OK, but somebody really wants to kind of like they're making it so easy, like so easy. Something is very, very easy. There, there's a easy commitment. Someone is just it's almost just like just going up to the courthouse. OK, signing the documents or whatever. I don't know. I ain't never been married before, so I don't know how it happened. But I guess you signed the documents that got the priest. What, where you got to go where the priest is dressed like Elvis or something like that? Is that Vegas? I would probably want to do that. But I'm still going to have my party. But that would probably be fun. I don't know. Let me not put that in the universe. I'm playing. I don't want that. <laughs> Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles for Libra on Tuesday. Three of Pentacles. Ooh, sudden wealth. Sudden wealth. Working together. Your occupation here. Somebody is working like sudden, like something suddenly hits. This is almost given like this week is going to be easy. Easy as hell. And this is the week that's bringing us into Libra season. So, sorry if y'all heard me sip my coffee. This is a week that's bringing us into Libra season. So somebody is getting, somebody is very, very lucky. There is a team. Also, this is giving hard work pays off. So in your occupation, like something definitely works really, really fast, really, really quickly. It's almost like suddenly everything just, everything just turned up. Suddenly, everything just, just expands. Suddenly, your bank account is just going like, you know, the, um, the, the machine thing, the slats, the slats is just going up suddenly. Like something just happens suddenly, like very, very suddenly. Tell me more about the King of Wands here. Um, somebody has their eye on a mature woman or something like that. Um, there's a mature woman that has a very, very big vision, I feel. Um, there could also be a mature woman that's, that's working with someone. There's also a child. So there's the King of Wands, a mature woman, and there's a child here. Um... We're going to see what that mature woman is looking at. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. It's giving two people here. All right, the Six of Cups. Okay, so you do have imprisonment, the Six of Cups. These are old memories. Okay, so somebody is thinking about, okay, so this is a lack mindset. You want to be mindful of your energy on Thursday. You have this, this poverty mindset, this lack mindset. Okay, so there is some type of great fortune here that's coming from some type of distance. I feel like if this sudden wealth happens... For some of you guys, you may be thinking on Thursday how something could mess up or is this legal? Is it even legal? Is this something legal for you? Is it against the law? Could this happen that way? For some of you, for some of you guys, you're like, OMG, something happens really, really good that you're thinking like, wait, is this even legal? Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Could I have it? You mean I can I can have this and go? It's mine? Something happens very, very well. I feel investments. Investments. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. That one didn't flip over. Thank you. Page of Swords journey. Somebody has a new idea about a journey, about a trip. Um, about a, some type of courtship, something like that. Somebody has a new idea about a journey or a trip. Be mindful of this, this energy. Tell me more about, somebody could be packing their bags. Um, somebody could also be watching you take a journey or a trip. 
be mindful of that too. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles for Libra on Saturday. All right, you have Toll and Labor. All right, so being mindful where you place your energy. You have Toll and Labor. Being mindful where you place your energy, where you place your work, your hard work. So you're trying to make sure that you put your hard work in a, in a nice place. So you have poverty keeps coming up at the bottom of the deck. Somebody has a lack mindset. I hope it's not you with this sudden wealth coming. How do you go from sudden wealth to tell me more about the moon? All right, you have the official person. Okay, so there's something about this official person that you don't really know too much about. Um, this could be a child. Um, this could be something Something going on. This could also have something to do with some type of lovers. There's still more information. There's more to the story. Th this doesn't necessarily mean that there's something bad that you don't know. But this could also, this just means that you don't know everything. There's a whole other side to something that you need to know. That will come out in due time. All right, let's see. Let's clarify. We starting off with the Ten of Wands. In reverse. Also, if you are a Patreon member, I will be doing another weekly where we deep dive into the days of the week. And each day of the week, they mean something differently. So if you're interested in that, that will be up for you. Also, if you're interested in joining the Patreon, that information will be down below in the description bar. Okay. All right. So let's see. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands in reverse and marriage. Somebody could be easily getting out of a marriage or something could be easily like dropping some type of load or something like that. All right, you have the king of swords. Oh, this is giving me the king of swords knows exactly what they want. They know what they want. You have the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Something is a new opportunity. Okay, so somebody is going to make some. Okay, so it's giving me like this king of swords only has space and opportunity. They only have space and opportunity. They have time. Um, they're able to do something, able to make something happen. You have the eight of wands with the four of pentacles here. So I feel like there's a person who they know what they want. I feel like there could be some type of talk going on and something is happening that's making a person hold on to you more. You're coming up as the thing that's valuable, as something that's valuable. Something is making you hold. Something is making a person hold on to you even more. All right. You do have the devil card here. Um, that's overall. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> there could also be some type of obsession. Okay. Yeah, this could definitely be some type of obsession that a person has for you. All right, let's see. I don't like to end notes on a on the devil the devil card here, so we're gonna see what that is. Um, you have the ten of swords here, so this is some type of freedom. The Ten of Swords is, is you freeing yourself from something, or someone freeing them. So someone could definitely be leaving a marriage. And then also there's a person who's really, really like obsessed, like somebody doesn't want to let you go. So I feel like if you're in a marriage and you're, you're trying to leave it, something's going to be easy. It's like you dropped a load really, really quick. It's like, it's like in a matter of just you going down to the courthouse and signing some papers. And then if a person wants some type of commitment, something happens really, really quickly. It's like the matter of you going down to the courthouse and signing some papers. Like something is very, very quick. I feel like something could have been complicated at first, but now it's not. All right. Tell me more about the three of pentacles and sudden wealth for Libra on Tuesday. The sudden wealth that happens here. Oh, you have the sun. Sudden success. Somebody could also be getting exposed here. There's some type of some type of exposure that leads to this sudden wealth that you have. Um, you do have the two of pentacles. Yeah, you're gonna have to balance this new lifestyle. You're gonna have to balance you being in the spotlight. You're gonna have to balance you being the center of attention. You're gonna have to balance you um, moving to this new level. You're gonna have to balance. There's a need for you to balance something 
and add something into your new lifestyle because with this exposure comes a new way of life. Something happens so suddenly it changes your life. Yeah, you have this hierophant. This look like this is God's doing. God did. But this is God's plan. Something is God's plan. Something is definitely God's plan for you. And look at that. The nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're going to have to balance something. Tell me more about the mature woman and the king of wands on Wednesday for Libra. Let's see. All right, so you have the lovers. Okay, so there's a mature woman and the king of wands. They're in love. Hmm. There's some type of bond here. Hmm. Okay, so there's some type of bond that's going on. And this bond is rooted off of lies. And this is somebody trying to get some type of, trying to, 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 to get over Somebody is trying to steal. Somebody is trying to take something. Um, it looks like both people. These are these two people. Both people are in this. Like the five of swords and, and the, the, the seven of swords. One person is a liar. One person is a thief. Somebody is a liar and a thief. And they are bonded together. What's crossing this? Or is this what you're getting away from? Is this with the mature? Is that why she's coming up as the mature woman? Is that has the mature woman have have you been? If you could be the mature one, mature woman or the man. Have you been with some type of liar or thief? And maybe this this King of Wands has this type of vision of this 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 six of swords because all of this is coming out of you moving away from all of that. So there's a bond that moves you away from all of this, all of that. I feel like that's where the teamwork that comes from. So some of you guys, there's a bond that moves you away from some type of cycle, some repeating cycle, reoccurring cycle that happens in your past. Um, whether this is with liars, these are with cheaters, this is with people who steal. Um, these are with, with, with repeat offenders. There's someone who has a bigger vision. Their vision goes farther than that. Um, also, be mindful of people who only vision go that far. That they Like they think that the, these are the only people that's in the world. It's people like that, you know. That think that there's only a certain type of people in the world. Yeah, somebody, somebody changes their environment. Something changes for them. Okay, so there's a new, a new, a new bond that happens, and the woman, the woman has to be mature enough to see the vision. So the woman has to be a little bit mature to see some type of vision that the man is just is getting together. If that makes sense, tell me more about the King of Wands. All right, yeah, the King of Wands is definitely dedicated, focused, very, very focused on having a happy life. Yeah, the magician, the King of Wands, this man is, 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 it has all the tools. All right, so this person is focused on this, but I do feel like both of you guys together, um, you know that Neo song, what is it, I'm a force, what do you say, I'm a, I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we together. Cause baby, you you make me better. You make me better. Somebody makes another person better, and that person makes you better. This is the teamwork. This is the bond. Tell me more about the six of cups and imprisonment for Libra on Thursday. We only on Thursday. We only on Thursday. All right, so somebody is moving past their... Pa Look at this bond. Moving past their past 
with some type of bond, with some type of connection. Here are these twos. Okay, so you're moving beyond some type of imprisonment, and this has to be your mind. All right, you're moving beyond this imprisonment. You're working so hard to your hard work. You are tearing a tower down. This is what your hard work is doing. You're tearing the tower down. You're removing a, a paradigm. You're, you, you, you're going through a huge paradigm shift. You're breaking these belief systems and thought patterns that no longer serve you. And these are from your past. You have the six of cups here. The imprisonment in your past, you're moving beyond that. You do have movement here. You have the world in your hands, literally. You have the world in your hands and you can literally do whatever it is that you want to do. Look at that. Wish fulfillment. This is you going for somebody. There was somebody who felt like they couldn't have it all and somebody was afraid to ask for it all. If you don't get nothing from this reading, ask for it all over exaggerate what it is that you want from the universe. You can play humble with people, but when it comes for you asking for what it is that you want from the universe over exaggerate, ask for everything okay there's somebody who felt like they that they couldn't have wish fulfillment and all of this is coming from wish fulfillment all of this is coming from you being you being content you being happy you being in a place of satisfaction you feeling good in life and i feel like for someone they're putting their comfort they put in their joy they put in their satisfaction over everything and you know what else this bond this relationship whether it's a friendship or whether it's a romantic relationship it could be a colleague at work it could be a shit it could be a um acquaintance there's something that makes you feel good and you don't feel guilty about it there's a person who could have been sabotaging their happiness for some of you guys also this is this is linked to a bond there is a person who was living rent free in your head who is keeping you, keeping you stuck, keeping you small. Not anymore. You're making movement out of that. You're moving on. You're moving beyond. Okay. Tell me more about the page of swords and journey for Libra on Friday. There is something that happens really quick. A fast, fast movement, fast journey. Something that happens really, really fast. Okay. So here's the change. There's the will of fortune coming in very, very fast. And this will of fortune coming in, this changes your life. This is destiny coming in. This is fate coming in. And this is changing your life for the better. A total 180. Changing your life for the better. Divine timing comes in your life. And it comes so fast that it creates a little bit of chaos. Okay? Just a little bit of chaos. All right? So at first, you were being... At first, you were kind of getting discouraged about some type of seed that you were planting or the work that you were doing you move right into this queen of swords energy where you have this inner knowing okay this inner knowing that you deserve that and some more it's something that is it's like some type of shift that happens very very fast and this uh, not only does it happen outside of you but it happens inside of you first it's going to happen with your energy you you have a huge energy shift now you could always be tired moving slow just so like just low energy then you go into this high energy very very high energy then it goes into your intuition your inner knowing there's a shift how you talk to yourself your negative self-talk or your or your thoughts instead of you telling yourself i can't do that you're gonna be saying well why the hell not why can't i do it matter of fact i think i can actually do this what if i actually do it what if, what if i actually put it off so there's some type of shift that happens on the inside of you okay all right. You do have the seven of swords here. All right. This comes from, I feel like for some of you guys, there's going to be something else that happens. Somebody could definitely be having some type of doing something here. You have the seven of swords energy here. Um, this is as a result of someone kind of doing something or you not telling someone about it. Tell me more about the seven of swords. All right, you have the nine of swords here, and this is you, this is some type of guilt. At first you were feeling guilty, but you stopped feeling guilty about something. Yeah, you stopped feeling guilty about something. Um, 
Also, this has a lot to do with, with, with this old mindset. There's a big shift that happens. Um, this has a lot to do with this old mindset. I feel like there's, there's some people who could have taken something from you, who could have been some type of repeat offenders, um, who could have, um, hurt you in a certain type of way and they continue to do so. Um, they were going to continue to do so if they, if they weren't going to get caught or if you didn't know. So now, you know, also now, you know, why something is taking so long. Somebody could also be backbiting. Tell me more about the four of pentacles and toll and labor for Saturday. Look at that. Justice. I knew justice was coming in. It looked like justice was coming in. It felt like justice was coming in. Okay. So there's something, um, your hard work is paying off. Your hard work, something was very, very hard. And you had limited resources, so you had to use your limited resources. But justice is definitely coming. Justice is paying off. You have the three, look, you have the three of swords with the king of cups. Um, something was very, very, very hard. Something is heartbroken. You have three knives. There could be three people. Something is very, very heartbreak broke um breaking, but this King of Cups here is still willing like like you say, the King of Cups sits with his emotions, good, bad, like it's it's given this energy that you were able to still sit in it. I don't know why I'm thinking about hot yoga. <laughs> Cause I read the book and I forgot what it's called. Love Warrior. And she was going through a lot. If you haven't read that book, that is a beautiful book. Um, I read it like years ago, probably like six, seven years ago. I know, right? Um, but what kind of set with me, because I've always wanted to do hot yoga. And she was like, she tried to do it. And at first, she, her first goal was just to sit on the mat and stay in that room for that 90 minutes. And she sat on the mat and sweat. It was so hot. And she just sat there for 90 minutes and it's just like just sitting through it there's something that was really really hard that you could not go anywhere you had to sit through it you know when there's no escape and the only way out is through so you have to go through it so there's something that you had to go through and you had to go through it with limited resources and now you're being repaid you have now this now karma is being now justice is being served in your favor you thought that because you there was no way out that this was like some type of curse and maybe this was some type of karma that you were paying no this was like a strength game for you yeah look at that judgment card your name is being called your name is being called because you were able to sit in something. It's like you know something is, is hard or you know something is going to get harder, but you know the only way out is through. It's almost, was thing, and I was thinking about this, it's almost like when Jesus, Jesus knew he was going to be crucified for doing whatever it is he did. A lot of people would be like, okay, I see that. Nope, let me go in a different direction. Let me shut up. Let me stop talking. But you have this bigger calling on your life where you just have to go through it. And you know you're going to get crucified for it. You know it's just going to hurt you even more. You know it's going to get even more painful. But the only way out is through. I don't know who I'm speaking to for that one. All right. Tell me more about the moon and official person. Oh, well, I feel like this is you. Tell me more about the moon and official person. So there is someone here that you don't know about that's very, very corrupt and depressed. Someone is depressed and corrupt. This is not, this is, this is not you. <laughs> well, I said, well, I'm thinking this is you because it's a official. Somebody is, there's more to the story that you need to know about someone's depression that's leading them to corruption or leading them to act corrupt. Okay. Someone's depression is making them be very, very corrupt. Let's see what we have for this. All right. We have this, this ace of pentacles 
with this four of cups. I do feel like something comes to you, some valuable information that you need to know about a person comes to you. And the reason why a person was corrupt was because they were depressed. Um, I'm not sure if this person is over their depression, but there's a need for you to know that. I feel like somebody could be hiding, hiding their depression very, very well. You do have this page of cups. I feel like something makes you sympathize. This cup that's coming for you is, is um, this coming to you in this form of information or insight. Um, somebody is opening up their heart to you. Um, it's almost like it's, it's almost like innocence. It's almost like proving someone's innocence. It's giving somebody is innocent or something is innocent. Something was innocent. Hmm. Let me see. Mm. Also, this person is jealous. They keep coming out in reverse. Or maybe something is coming to you that's a person is acting like they're innocent. Someone is coming off as innocent to you. Someone is a corrupt leader. They're also jealous. Someone is, is also trying to give you a, a huge illusion so you can change your mind. All right. So I'm going to leave this reading right here, Libra. This is your weekly reading. I hope this reading resonates. Patreon um, members, make sure you head over to Patreon to catch that weekly, um, where I'm going into each day of the week. Um, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.